the course and exam description goes through the information that is in the new AP curriculum. And it breaks it down into six big ideas. So those ideas are structure of matter, properties of matter, chemical reactions, and that includes electrochemistry, and then pretty familiar topics, rates of reaction, thermodynamics, and equilibrium. Each of these ideas is broken down into several levels, enduring understandings, and then essential knowledge. Now those two ideas will um, cover topics that you would normally teach. And then also there is another one called science practices. And the science practices are several ideas that don't exactly match any particular curriculum, any particular content. It could be things like, you know, using uh, representations to represent things, use um, uh, mathematics, use uh, uh, graphs. And those are linked up with um, essential knowledge, and then you come up with a learning objective. So, for example, here, there's a learning objective, you know, um, for your essential knowledge, and if this linked up with the science practice, which is students can work with scientific explanations and theories, and sub-idea from that is do uh, justify claims with evidence, then you can come up with a learning objective that the science can, uh, the student can justify the observation that the ratio of the masses of constituent elements in any pure sample of that compound is always identical on the basis of the atomic molecular theory. That is, um, you know, the law of definite composition. So the learning objectives are very, very, very important ideas. We call them the LOs uh, because each question that's on the AP exam is based on a learning objective. So if you're ever confused about, well, will there be a question about this or a question that, just look at all the learning objectives, and those are going to be defining what the questions are. Now, as they go through the essential knowledge, there are also places where some information uh, has been taken out of the AP curriculum, and those are called the exclusion statements. Now, an exclusion statement has a kind of comment here, like a memorization of the exceptions to the off -power principle is beyond the scope of this course and the AP exam. They all, all, all have finished with that kind of wording. So they're saying here that, you know, well, we used to teach uh, things like um, silver and copper, you know, that they would, uh, you would expect it to be um, S2, like a 4S2, 3D9, and that would have been um, copper. But it turns out that's not the way, you know, that's how it's following the rules, but it really is 4S1, 3D10. So having students memorize those, you know, that's what we used to do. But now they're saying that the mere rote recall of the exceptions does not match the goals of the curriculum revision. However, it says if given an exception on the AP exam, students will be responsible for providing possible reasons for the exceptions based on the theory. So what I read that as is that, you know, even though you're not going to have to have students memorize the exceptions, they better come across those exceptions and maybe, you know, why they happen uh, during the course because it could show up on the exam. Now, at the end of this in the curriculum framework, um, now also you realize that this is part of your um, workshop materials. You can also buy the book, you know, as a separate uh, document, or you can get it as a PDF file and download it. And that's what I do. I have that on my iPad in my iBooks. But at the end of this uh, section where it goes through the six big ideas, then there's an appendix, which I find really useful, and it's the AP Concepts at a Glance. And you can see it has each enduring understanding and then all the essential knowledge that goes with each of those enduring understandings. So some of the big ideas, here's big idea one, uh, goes through and takes maybe two pages to list all the enduring understandings and essential knowledge, and some of the big ideas only take one page. Then after that is another uh, list, another uh, appendix, and that's one where it takes each and it shows every every uh, learning objective, and there's over a hundred of them. So those are very useful uh, shortcut, you know, appendices, so you can get a whole everything it kind of in one glance. Now, if I read one of these and I don't quite understand what it's saying, I can go back and look at it in context of the whole uh, discussion beforehand because then it gives examples and it makes a lot more sense. 